Under the advanced settings, you can include additional conditions for booking an appointment, select a custom confirmation email, add reminder emails, include an additional form, or require a payment before booking. Starting at the top with Advanced Appointment Settings, Prevention allows you to build in advance notice before the actual appointment time. For example, if you want at least one day to prepare prior to a client session, you can prevent booking less than 24 hours in advance. Buffer Time lets you add padding before or after a booked appointment. This is a good idea if you need to account for travel time before you'll be available again. Increments allow you to control the time slots that the client can see. If you set the increment to 15 minutes, available start times could include 4, 4.15, 4.30, and 4.45. If you set the increment to 60 minutes, available start times could include 4, 5, 6, and 7. Appointment details allow you to set a maximum number of appointments per day and maximum number of total uses. By leaving both the daily appointment maximum and total appointment maximums blank, every single available time slot within your range of availability can be filled. If you only want to take three consultations per day, even if you have availability for more than that, set the daily appointment maximum in the first box to three. If you only want to take three consultations total, set the total appointment maximum in this second box to three. Once you have three people book on that particular scheduler template, no further bookings will be allowed. Appointment detail settings will behave differently on a public scheduler versus a project scheduler. For a public scheduler, both the daily limit and the total limit will apply to everyone who books. For a project scheduler, the daily limit will apply to everyone with that type of scheduler. If your daily limit on the master template is one, you will never have more than one of that type of appointment on your calendar per day. However, the total limit will affect that client only, meaning you can ensure that a specific client is not able to book more sessions than they have currently paid for. Next, let's take a look at the sending and sharing options. The welcome message refers to a simple banner across the top of your appointment scheduler that your clients can see unless you've embedded the scheduler on your website. A confirmation email will always be sent out to the client when they book a date and time. If you don't set a specific canned email template here, the default appointment confirmation email will be used. If you'd like to override the default with a specific confirmation email, use this drop-down to connect a specific template. Additional Form lets you attach an additional form as a second tab inside the scheduler template. You can attach a lead capture form or a questionnaire. If you are creating a public scheduler, this is where you would include a lead capture form. By itself, the scheduler does not have the ability to create a new project, but the lead capture form will ensure that the person booking an appointment will have a project created in your account. If you are creating a project scheduler and you want a client to fill out additional information in order to book an appointment, you can apply a questionnaire as the additional form. This is great for collecting contact information if you won't already have it. You probably don't want to include a lead capture form on a project scheduler since that will create a second project for the same client. 
a redirect URL allows you to skip the default Dubsado confirmation page by sending the client to a specific URL automatically after they book an appointment. Here's a tip. You can customize the wording of the default appointment confirmation email under templates, canned emails, edit templates, appointment confirmed. The last section is for additional options. This is where you can require a payment before booking, add email reminders, or switch from a weekly calendar view to a monthly one. An invoice will require a payment prior to booking this type of appointment with you. Turning this option on allows you to set an invoice amount. You can allow clients to apply a discount code under this section as well. You'll need to identify the specific discount codes you will accept here. The notification toggle is where you pre-schedule appointment reminders. If you don't set up this section, no appointment reminders will be sent. They are not automatically applied by default. The first area allows you to set how far in advance the email should go out before the appointment. The drop down is where you select the canned email template that should be used. Once you've added these details, click add to set the reminder. You can add more than one appointment reminder if you'd like. You can edit a reminder by clicking the pencil icon or delete a reminder by clicking the red trash can icon. The final option is the monthly view. Scheduler templates are set to a weekly view by default, but toggling this setting on will switch to a monthly view. Once you have finished your advanced settings, make sure to click save at the bottom.